Picks 106. 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. 1010, 1010 I'm guessing uh, he's got something from Hobby Lobby in his uh, in, in his mudroom. I don't, I don't, he doesn't strike me as a craft guy. <laughs> well, I'm guessing maybe the wife uh, gets something for the kids and they get, you know, some sort of glue, glue stick yeah. and something. I don't know what they sell over there, but Paul's on the phone to talk uh, Hobby Lobby. Good morning, Paul. All right, good morning. Good morning, guys. This ruling that came down yesterday, for me at least, wasn't a surprise. But there is a li- there's some misinformation going on. So tell us what you know from yesterday's Supreme Court ruling. Well, yeah, I mean, but in essence, what happened here is they held these privately um, held companies. Uh, they do not have to provide contraceptives um, to their employees, and sort of in violation of the Affordable Care Act. What happened is this company, Hobby Lobby. You know, it's a well-known company of Christian ownership, and they just didn't want to uh, be providing, and specifically the Plan B, the morning after pill, uh, for their folks. And so they had a choice. They had to violate their uh, their conscience, uh, conscience uh, with their religious beliefs or violate the Affordable Care Act. They went to court, and the court said, okay, um, privately held companies that have sincere religious beliefs do not have to do this but it's one of those things that that when it goes down like this and what the critics are saying or what the people are saying is that uh, i got another crack in the affordable care act obama obamacare and uh, what's next yeah well so so and then the argument is and i think this is where the misinformation is i think and you can help us out but all right well i don't want i run a restaurant and i don't want to serve gay couples it doesn't work like that does it Boy, I'll tell you, you know, how they got that from that, but I've seen and I've read the same sorts of things. No, they wrote it as narrow and specific as they absolutely could. They're saying, hey, this this has to do with uh, religious beliefs as it pertains to contraceptives, as it pertains to uh, closely held companies only. But, but, but Paul, sure. I, 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 how is this... Because I mean, the way I hear it is that this is a one-time deal. It doesn't affect anything like blood transfusions or anything like that. And, and it can't. There's no precedent that can be made on this specific case. So what the hell are we doing this for then? And anyways, just, other than to well, to slap people around in the with the Obamacare stuff. The you know the precedent that can be made here is that there is an extension. Um, because j- just to be clear, that non-for-profits and church organizations did not have to provide contraceptives. Okay, so now we've got, got private it. companies that have, you know, religious beliefs don't have to. And so the theme is, there's, I think it was 700-plus lawsuits already kind of filed against Obamacare, legitimate. Maybe there's thousands, but legitimate 700-plus with organizations backing them up and et cetera. And they all have their particular agenda. So by the court not shutting this down and... and uh, uh, they now everyone else is saying, "Hey, you know, we've we've got a chance to to get our issues out in front, and maybe." Turn. So, in essence, here, um, you know, it's a crack in the door, but it does not mean uh, what what you just said relative to private ownership and not serving gays and lesbians and, but, and all these other. Yeah, but the precedents, though. I mean, they say that this is you know you can't apply it anywhere else. This is a one time deal, but it that that never works when it comes yeah, to no, the law, right? That's, that's so, how we do it. You know, we get a precedent, we see something, and then we try to extend it. Then we try to enlarge the scope of it. So no matter what they said throughout the decision, this is limited, limited, limited. The folks who are trying to get their goals achieved, the door is cracked open. And so we'll see lots of other stuff coming. There's a, you know, there was a million news stories about this yesterday. The one I saw was that because there's alternatives to get this, and it's not all contraceptives, it's some variations of well, the government but because there's alternative to get it at no cost for these people right they, they didn't mind doing this law yeah which i thought okay i understand that but i don't like that you should do the law based on what's right right not because well, there you, you go that's not because you what, have an out as the supreme court it's, yeah it's like there's ethical issues there's what's right there's uh there's uh you know whether or not you know women are being affected uh, you know un- unfairly i mean I don't know. It just sounds like just a big ethical thing. Everybody's going to be fine if they need to get what they need to get, right? Well, is this over, Paul? I mean, is this done for a while? Oh, for a while, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's coming back. And you know, it just showed that there are some cases that uh, you know, focusing on American protected freedoms that, that are going to override Obamacare. In this case, they felt it did. You know, the next case, they may feel that it doesn't. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I, I guess it's the misinformation out there on this case which really seems to be you know working the day here
All right, it's Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010 at 1-800-LAW-1010.com. we got to go, but I want to know, you're going to do some slalom skiing over the 4th? Do you, <laughs> yeah. you slalom ski? Nice. What, are you, what are you doing? Some I really tube? don't know. I, I, I might be seeing the back of a tube but Lake George. Yeah, that's All probably as right. close as I'll get to that. Lake yeah. George. Awesome. We'll look for you. All right, buddy. Okay, Have a great guys. time, and we'll see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Take care, guys. Quinn and Cantera. Mornings on Picks 106.